Guacamole is a recipe that everyone needs in their arsenal of cooking. So I've asked Gerardo Lopez from La Tortoria to come in and show you his version of a traditional Mexican dish. And this version that I'm going to show you today is my family's version. It comes all the way down from my grandma, my mom, and now I'm using it. It's very sort of to my taste, and I think the people that I have sort of shared this dish with have enjoyed it. So hopefully, hopefully you like it. Um, there's no doubt I will. All right, so to start with, the first thing that I want to do is um, get some of that lime sure. and the onion working together. So I want to pickle um, some of that lime, you know, remove some of that tanginess, some of that bitterness of the, of the, of of the, the onion. onion. Yeah, sure. Let's start working on that. Half a red onion. And the juice of one lime that we're using here. Beautiful. Give that a little stir. And so this just sits aside, does it? For a minute, while this is sitting on the side, we're going to work on the jalapenos. We're going to chop those uh, avocados and have them ready. Chili is obviously a very important part of Mexican cuisine. It is. And they use all different types. Why is it the pickled one in this instance? I, I like the flavor of the pickle because we already have the lime going on the, on the mix. So mm. I think that vinegar, it just complements. Um, layering up the flavors, layering it up. And, and just getting there, you know. Once you do that, I'm going to get these avocados started. So this is just a rough chop through the jalapenos? Yep, yep. Just, just rough. Does the avocado go in last in, the, in your process? In my process, the avocado is the last one because at that point, I want to add some of the milk. That okay. milk is my personal tip. That milk will help also smash the avocado and, and achieve a very consistent um, sort of paste on the guacamole. I've never seen milk used in a guacamole. I've seen a few different variations, but never milk. I like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's, that's one of the things that I learned this from This is your family mom. tip or will you see this in other recipes? No, I've never seen it in any other recipes. The other thing that I like doing with um, my guacamole is adding a little bit of olive oil. It just, just you want, in, yeah, yeah. It's straight in. So about a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil. Yep. We've got about one tomato roughly chopped, half a red onion, quarter of a cup of roughly torn coriander. Yep. And two avocados. It's quite a straightforward recipe and a little bit of milk, of course. So I like to put my avocados with the whole up. Okay. Because... Because that's what your grandma did? Because that's what my grandma did. And that's where I'm going to pour some of this milk. Look at that to get into... I've never seen anything like this before in a guacamole. I will use a fork. That's what I normally know how to do to deal with the guacamole. And then just, just basically just smash it up getting now. into it, smashing. And as you smash, you see how that milk is just getting into the guacamole. As I go, I'm just gonna start just mixing everything together. Okay, a little bit of salt. A little bit of salt, yes. So you know avocados and tomatoes, they love some they, they salt. Get right? together. You can absorb a lot of salt with those two ingredients. And we have a lot of citruses going on as well, so it just, yeah, it just helps goes, balance it out. It just goes perfect with this. So what's guacamole or guacamole generally served with? In Mexico, we have it on, on, on its own, just with the, with the chips, as you mm. know. We normally have it on the side to put on the tacos on top. Mm. And that's delicious. There's another thing that we that we serve, which is tostadas. Mm. And the tostada is a flat um, tortilla. We top things on, on top of it. One of them could be guacamole at the very end. There's, there's a variety of things that guacamole is used for. Um, so it's quite a versatile ingredient in Mexico. They use it. It's very versatile. It's very healthy too. You know, because everything that has gone into here is very fresh. I would like to refer to it as a superfood. You know. <laughs> now, can you you can see now how it's just become a paste. Mm. And that's because of the milk. You know, the milk has allowed me to get into a paste rather than a chunky yeah. guacamole. You find a lot of people like the chunky. Yeah. Not you, you're the smooth. Me. Yeah. I like the smooth. When you go with your chip in, you have all those, all those um, different flavors. Can I have so, a little taste, please? Yeah, have a taste. I like that. The lime mm. juice is giving a real punch. And the onion, too. Lime comes in first to taste the avocado. And then some of that chili starts coming through and the salt and all that stuff. That's so it's a great all combination. about guacamole is not just a dish which you just slap together. It's about balancing out these flavors so you get an even amount of each. Yeah, exactly. And one of the things I want to do is obviously taste it with our beautiful totopos. It's not even. And just because I like to have some salsa, just to finish it off. I wouldn't add the salsa to the guacamole. I will just have it on the top so you can enjoy as much as you want. And and really combine So you let people those. add that, you know, mm. hot or as not as hot as they want. Mm -hmm. To me, that is one of the best guacamoles I've ever tasted. Thank that you. has it all. It has texture, it has punch, but it also has subtlety with all those additional ingredients. There you have it, Gerardo Lopez sharing his secrets and a family tradition with a great guacamole. Thank you very much.